Meet Fred Watson, Barbados's oldest fisherman. I don't know anything from deep fishing family. And really, I didn't want to be a fisherman until I started teaching at a really young boat. But then, things get better with my mother, with some children, and my brother, and Red Man, and he do it. So then I had no other choice. So I started fishing, so I had my mother and children. At just 13 years old, the Martins Bay resident was the sole breadwinner of his family. And with her, because they had a big family, not my children, but my brother and I and his own children, and my sister also. And they wanted, wanted to work for her. The young Watson learned a lot and quickly in the early years. So we start getting lobsters, she got crabs, then he started throwing it, then he got fresh, more of it. Then he starts sailing, then he starts navigating, then he starts snapping, then to the ocean, then he's fishing in the boats, then to the launches, then to the ice boats, then to the swim boats. You know, I've been fishing really well, But it wasn't all hard work. Now, you've got no pleasure in fishing. Mm -hmm. Okay, the other things get them flying fish. They can not sport. I still boat race, I launch races. And uh, make you feel happy. He recalled going adrift for several days with little way of calling for help. Met in Martinique, met in Vincent, and all the ones that I went to send with you. All the time, back to Spring, it's going to be up there. It's eight days, and seen the line, and I've seen the body like you. We had any equipment in those days, like today. From Ghana, by and then all on their flight. Yes, yeah, the first time when you're going to the place where you don't know, the country that you're going in. And one part of the market will speak in French and they don't know the French. <laughs> you don't know what people ask, you know, you them don't know what that then they then go. Looking at the fishing industry today, Watson says he is pleased to see several improvements for fishermen. The fishermen today um, improve a lot in fishing. I know the fishermen improve a lot in fishing. Although fishing becomes more difficult, and wasn't getting the fish as we used to send to see we came down here to stop a lot of fishing. But it brought them up in the fish that we got some catching up to stop one, stop the plane fish, but now the husband's come. The complete that the fishman's gone, but the right number is two fish. Enough there are fish come down, enough that be enough amber fish. So from one day next, the season was still good. Watson has received several awards for his contribution to fishing and has also taught numerous fishermen over the years. I learned that no fishermen are not fishermen. I mean, no, no, be fishermen today. There's a lot of men and a lot of men. I know a lot of fishermen. I know a lot of them. You see, with some people, make fishing is because the house of men want to go with a man with them. They don't want to give them any money but not me. When the first time I was fishing, we get the same money. Here's me, got the boat saying, we got the same money, mother death is me. You got the same mother swimming, same mother fight, you know. I give you a full share. Fred Watson says fishing remains an honorable profession and he would like to see more young people taking up the trade. But if people don't go into fishing, they end up working with you. If a young boy is keeping the drugs, fishing, they can make a little bit of fishing. Mm -hmm. But all that need, so you can do everything you could. I make nets, all I can in nets. I learned these things with men who know, mm -hmm. and I really got men who know early. A lot of people be on the same one to tell you what to do, and then no start. Mm -hmm. And the school teacher, the school teacher, she's right around me, and they know when school. <laughs>